right. Um, so I'm going to say, this is no news, um, that if people have high expectations, like it happens, and if you don't have high expectations, it kind of like doesn't happen. So this is not new information. We've known this for a whole bunch of years. I think that in teaching, high expectations sometimes translates to you can settle for the kid got it right, but it also can mean you can push for more. You can push for more insight, you can push for more connections, more sense making. I think that you can say, yep, good, I'm happy. Or you can say, that's cool, but like, what if I did this, like then what? And that's my push. So I'm gonna share with you how it looks in every single grade, kindergarten. I could say to a little kindergarten kid, how many blocks did you use to build your tower? And he could say nine and I could be happy. Or I could say, could you have used more blocks but had a shorter tower? If I were in grade one, I could ask a kid what two plus three is, and I could be thrilled that they say five. Or I could say, what sums can you get if you add two next to each other numbers? Are there sums you can't get? If I'm in grade two, I could ask kids for the 20th number in the pattern 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. They could say 59, which by the way is right, and I could be glad. Or I could say, how would you change the pattern so the 20th number is 89? Grade three, there's some dumb little triangle there. What is the perimeter of that dumb little triangle? He, it is 18, all good. I could say, if the triangle had a side of four and a side of six, what perimeters are possible, what are impossible? In grade four, I could ask you which is greater, three eighths or three fifths, tell me why, and they could tell me three fifths, because fifths are bigger, and I could be happy. Or I could say, could you have fifths and eighths, but it goes the other way, the eighths are more. Grade five, draw me parallel lines, there you see it. How could you decide whether two lines are really parallel or they just kind of look like it? Grade six, estimate 25% of 50 and the kid can say about 12 and I can say yay. Or can about 25% of one number be about 75% of another number? Like, is that possible? Grade seven, there's a data set, 4, 7, 10, 20. What happens to the mean and median if you pull out the 20 and they tell me they go down? I could say create a data set, remove one value, so the median goes down more than the mean. That's a push. Grade eight, why is two thirds divided by three fifths more than one? They do a little, we call it flip and multiply, and tell me. Or I could say no calculations, give me 10 fractions, so we divide two thirds by it, it has to be more than one. Grade nine, I know I missed. Um, there's an equation, solve it, get me a solution. Or can an equation where the solution is six include more than one odd coefficient or constant? because that would only have one. Grade 10, what is the cosine of 65 degrees? Look it up, get your calculator out. If an angle doubles, does its cosine more than double, less than double, or double, or does it depend? Grade 11, if f of x is blah, 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 and g of x is blah, 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 what is the composed function? Or can every function be written as a composite function? Grade 12, what is the expected value if you win a buck for whatever you roll on a die and they do it right and get me a lovely answer? Or create a spinner with unequal sections where the expected value is negative one half. So the message is I push me all the time to refine and improve what I do, to differentiate my instruction like today I call my instruction with you or other groups to share substance as well as message. You could push students, not only for correct solutions, but for deeper insights, deeper understanding, and more generalizing, because I think math is generalizing. You could push yourself to expect more of your kids and yourself, to push yourself out of your comfort zone, at least sometimes, to make thinking about your practice and questioning your normal game plan what you do. Because we all started with one more question.